There's lots of stories yet untold About men and their searching souls To find desires they keep hidden in their chest And I'll bet you in all this world That is, maybe outside of you girls Motorcycles are the one thing we like best To hear those old exhaust pipes crack Feel the wind in your face with the sun on your back I've sat in that big saddle from dawn to dawn Cause when things were wrong and I can see that they're beginning to bother me I crank up that old hog mine and ride on It was mid-afternoon, the weather was fine I was cruising down on 99 just out for a ride to see what I could see Back behind me I heard a weird sound I turned my head and looked around There was two little little beetles bugging me they were trying their best to catch that old hog, but it was like a cat trying to catch a dog. They were having their problem getting that little chore done. But I eased off on that mighty twin, and most of them fellas to come on in. Couldn't pass up a chance like that to have a little fun. I fell in behind them for a little while, played cat and mouse for a couple of miles. I could see they wasn't giving me much of a fight. So I cut right between those little boats, and I'm not joking with you folks. In a couple of minutes, I was riding on out of sight. Down in Bakersfield one night, the sky was clear and the moon was bright. I had faith in the prettiest thing I'd ever found. We climbed aboard that stately beast, and I headed her down a one-way street. And pretty soon, we were leaving town. We hit the grapevine going south, wanna find what this thing love was about, didn't know where we were going and didn't care. I pulled up under an old pine tree and there we were, just her and me as I rubbed my fingers through her lovely hair. I slipped my arms around her waist and she said, Dick, you better wait, cause I got a message here to you from me. Before you can take any liberties, you got to promise to marry me. And I chickened out right then and there. The echo of that old big twin could be heard to the valley and back again as we came roaring down on that mountainside. I lifted her from that bloody seat and put her feet back on the street. Then I kissed that pretty thing goodbye. I looked at her and she looked at me and man alive it was plain to see that it was time this kid was riding on. I jumped the straddle that two-wheel tank, brought all my weight down on the crank, peeled the ears back on that thing, and I was gone.